Hi guys and welcome to our rendition of uh, Warsaw Uprising with Bolt Action Rules. Uh, this was a uh, an effort by the members of the club um, but was mainly done by Gary and Frank. It's mainly their figures that are in use and uh, a lot of their work was put into this game. Uh, there's a green area as you can see here which is a military camp, a German military camp, um, supply area etc. Right on the edge of the canal next to Warsaw itself. Uh, then as you move into Warsaw you see you've got the built up areas, the districts um, and you can see some of the roads there are blockaded already by the partisans. There's the uh, industrialish area uh, that's badly ruined or badly shelled and damaged and then next to that obviously you've got the train station. Uh, the train station on both sides of the road there. Uh, again the whole area has been sort of pretty decimated which is good for defenders I suppose. Um, just trying to get a feel for, for Warsaw itself, there's like a church, you know, damaged houses. I mean, obviously we can't recreate Warsaw as it was, because it was a very grey sort of city block type place, but we're just trying to give a feel for a very damaged, um, you know, city that's been under siege and, and sort of segregation for a very long time. Uh, so that was the table there, with a little bit of variance in the scenery, etc. Um, like I say, it was a really good game and enjoyed by everyone, so uh, this is how the game went. So, so, I mean, so that then goes down by one because you can't pass the test. Okay. And then obviously you can do whatever you want to do. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. And then that's going up to the test. Yeah, you have to pass. You get a pig, you have to pass another test to actually do anything good. Right. So I can't move the challenge, just pass the test. No, it's a pig. Yes, pass the order to move. Yes. If you do a rally test, they say where they yeah. are. And he said yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Well, he did ask nicely. And then yeah. he executed yeah. and put the flag up. Yeah. The advance is looking very good. Very so we slow. Are pushing, we are pushing. Very three. slow on the left. It wasn't a speed limit. <laughs> That's true, there was no limit. Yeah, I did think you'd be doing a bit better because you had an easy movement. I'm just getting stuff on first. This is what I like to see. Yeah, just Loads of it. Look, lots of mm -hmm. German army yeah, on yeah, fire. You've done well there, mate. No, that's your one, mate. Oh, right. <laughs> that's my one there. <laughs> that's the, that's, that's uh, brewed up. Yeah. It's, it's just having smoke. Like, you'll be hurt. Laying. No. No. <laughs> He's got, got a dead tank up here. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a deck tank. Yeah, so he's dead tanks for a rock run. So he's put two squads in the uh, boom over there. Excellent idea. Have you been doing down your arts? Where? Yeah. Where? 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 The Germans began to mass around the church and really put some pressure on the partisans in that area. But the partisans managed to keep holding on. Is that half the forces, girls? Have you done? I've done. Yes, yes, three moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, would you like to go? Black one, please. Yeah, we'll come around together. Very well. Michael Red. You made a black one already. Hey! Get yourself. <laughs> What you could do, Gary, for fuck's sake. You can see there the uh, overall picture of the actual battle, and you see the Germans massing there for the attack on the church. The partisans are dug in all around those uh, buildings there next to the church. Um, even though there's a whirlwind firing on them and tanks trying to move up the road, the partisans using improvised weapons and managing to hold them back. Towards the centre of the battlefield, the Germans are slightly more cautious as the partisans are really dug in around that grey building area there and um, where the uh, where the German player now is counting his men opposite them the partisans are firing back so that square has become a real hotbed and an actual death trap for the Germans on the um, German's left flank where the greenery is Derlwanger is preparing a mass attack uh, of armour to go across the green area towards the dug in partisans but I think he's going to find it a lot more uh, more difficult than he thinks Red day, so your cards. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So the fire is. Yeah, let's take it up to those on the bridge. What are you doing? No, this guy's with the fire over there on the bridge. bridge. Uh, it's three, four, five, six, and six. Six and six. Two sixes. Yeah. We can do that. We've got one. Yeah. I need two. 
<laughs> well, you got another. You got two shots, haven't you? Yeah. So. Around 11.30am the Germans were massing for an attack. The Derwanger had lined up in a road opposite the green fields and were prepared to go in, but they came under fire from a captured Stug which took out many of their light vehicles very quickly. Although the Derwanger was stalling, they were not going to be stopped just yet. Uh, in the centre of the uh, city, the Germans had tried to push down some armour down a road and make a bridgehead, but unfortunately the 37mm pack that the partisans had captured had managed to knock out a couple of vehicles causing a roadblock. The rest of the Germans found themselves entrenched in houses facing the church and that open ground opposite the church was proving deadly for them with machine gun fire and snipers causing havoc. And so with a little bit of desperation, the uh, Germans called up a heavy tank unit um, and the partisans don't really have anything that can stop this kind of unit. Uh, the only thing that's in their favor of course is a built up area and those tanks are not suited to that kind of fighting. But the partisans were still hanging on, they were strung out in small groups, small pockets of resistance here and there, using small arms and fighting as best as they could, uh, captured mortars, uh, Molotov cocktails, booby traps, whatever they could lay their hands on and fight and hold on, while the church burnt and the uh, Germans just kept on coming towards them. Um, but yeah, the rubble really proved to be a great defensible position for the partisans and we were surprised at how well they defended considering what they actually were facing. The partisans had been digging themselves in and preparing around this strange station there look uh, to create a mass attack on the Germans and they were holding the factories and getting ready to counter attack as 75 was playing havoc with the Germans in the road and with the grey square, the square of death it became known as, um, the uh, partisans completely owned that and that's, just, that's the furthest point the partisans got to and that was going to prove very difficult for the Germans to take back. Coming across the bridge there you can see that the partisans have spread out and they've occupied a small entrenched area next to the camp but they don't know what's coming and it's rather large uh, force of tanks and infantry about to attack them. So she had to gain a bit. Yeah done really well got four tanks now destroyed took out two half tracks plus a wasp and uh, yeah keep pushing them back. Yeah. yeah. How well you done Mark with the uh, Derwanger? Great. <laughs> <laughs> you almost convinced yourself, then. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Great, mate. Have you actually hit anything yet, or...? I've killed one mortar squad. No, yeah. two. You've killed two mortar squad. Yeah, but you did, you did wipe out an entire squad as well, didn't you? No, that's... No. Yeah, you did, in that building. Small right? change. Small change. Well, there's a German squad. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> My own men. Terribly. As Derlwanger attacked the camp, Mark, the Derlwanger commander, decided to use a supporting Sturmtiger and fire into the grey area to help his beleaguered troops in there. Unfortunately for him, he managed to hit the only building in there holding German troops and not only flattened the uh, building but also killed all the German troops in there. And the building right in front of you here is also another building he destroyed with his second shot. So he was having a great day. Gary. I don't reckon taking Walsall back is that great of an idea, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like the world turns now. You, you couldn't stop him. He was like, yeah, like what are you gonna oh, do with it anyway? Spoke, mate. He was like, yeah. There's a nice big gap there now. Now he's changed his tune. There's a nice big gap there now, don't you? Who gets a little tip in there first? I think we should have some. It gives you an opportunity. That's right. I might head back. Which is right. Yeah. No, mate, you're dead in a few months. They'll kill you. Don't worry about that. Well, that's my man. He has a probably for the result, Andy. I'm dead. Yeah. He did know so well against the war, so I did some of civilians. Yeah. The most of us need the bottom forwards. This is the conversation for Berlin. All he had to do was do that. Yeah. Okay, you've like lost how many tanks? Well, now the rubble counts as uh, hard cover now, doesn't it? Or yeah, still, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but for new units, the thing in. is, though, you oh, can yes. shoot past it. Yeah, yeah. It's the, the, the flaming yeah. tanks and half tracks tell a good Harry story can. over here. Yeah. So, have two you done Andy over here? Two pans of fours knocked out, two oh, infantry squads, heavy machine gun team, half track, two half tracks. Yeah. Yeah, yes. pack 36 then. Uh, yeah, put it back to the lines. 
and he yeah, did the defence and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, he got back. Gone back. I got me uh, something 105 still going. I've still got a multi team. Lost my snipers early on, but you know. Well, they got counter sniper, didn't they? Yeah, snipers, you know, you lose a few. They got counter snipers too, so I mean that's what you need to do. I had two, lost two. Yeah, just like one cup up. Yeah, teams, we were doing the nine, we were doing the other on the Yak Tiger, but I think it might be a fall on post. You know what I mean? It was well over stand on that one. If you're going to start blowing bills up, you need to put 3 d It's got to get another drain time, like, pop up. I don't want to say it. Well, if you're going to get a card in there for a loss, I've got 11, I think, against the Panthers. Yeah, you could get three. So you could get 18. The book's only between there. So I asked for the words out. Tigers and Tiger 2s. Yeah, that's a tough gig. What we just done, we just had one off and one off for that. Because that would have a lot of damage, wouldn't it? That's saying. So what you need up here is a uh, oh, okay. ten-sided dice. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're yeah. doing it, but all the other ones. Just playing the W third five. Tim, yep. We're actually working out of value. Spent my billions. Okay, great. Yeah. Do they all have different strengths, are they? Well, you roll three d six. Over there, they are. Okay. So that's an eight. Cool. Okay. What's that one got? Eight. Kill more. Eight. 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 So I'll, I'll be having to remove now. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think these big, big, yeah. like towny buildings like that would be so weak? Because it's, if you put all the damage that's recently happened to it, the bomb is... They've had no bombing on them. It's only that middle one that was getting hit by well, shells. Well, as Gary said, if you roll 3d6, it could be 18. Good stuff. Yeah, it depends on where you could say that it's actually been structurally damaged because of the building that bombing yeah. next to okay, it. Okay, fair enough. Like any storm at once, actually. Yeah, it's all getting that, isn't it, really? That's on a 7. Now we're going. We're going clockwise. Uh, we're going clockwise. We're going the ones that are in. So, yeah, one minute stuff, that's the on. There's six, so that's not relation to the top. So basically, the wrong person rolling for structural integrity is. Okay. Us is you. You're the no. You're the best person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. And then, then that one. Yeah. 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 However, the partisans who'd been preparing for this uprising for months just held them back at every opportunity. Booby traps, mines, pits, collapsing walls, anything that the partisans could do to stop or delay the Germans was put into play. The German vehicles themselves were burning in such amounts that the smoke and the vehicles themselves became a problem for the Germans. On the right flank where the Germans had more men and armour and artillery, even there they were stuck and struggled to reach the church. Where their armour was stopped and stalled, they sent in Panzer Grenadiers. The Panzer Grenadiers soon been shot down from the partisans who manned barricades and ran across the streets and throwing Molotov cocktails to disable vehicles. Many of the partisans became heroes and martyred themselves, but the Germans simply could not dislodge them from their positions. Partisans fielded armoured cars made from lorries and just had normal citizens armed with stolen machine guns and weapons which attacked around every corner from sewers and from alleyways, turning Warsaw into a death trap for the attacking Germans. So guys, that was the end of the first day of battle. 8pm brought the fading light and uh, both sides uh, sort of ended up uh, slowly stopping firing. Uh, the Germans lost uh, a lot of armour, a lot of vehicles and plenty of men. The partisans had managed to hold largely what they had at the beginning, um, which is quite true of the, the actual conflict itself. Um, you know, this, this is one day and this thing went on for three weeks and eventually the Germans obviously went in and sort of massacred everybody and um, transported the rest off to sort of death camps and horrible things like that. So this was just a game that we played, trying to represent the actual struggle a little bit or as best as we could. You know, you can't actually recreate something like Warsaw. Um, it must have been really horrific. Um, but yeah, so there's some shots of the, the battle, the way it ended. It was a great game using bolt action rules. Now, one thing we did do with the bolt action rules is we allowed the Germans to move six units of their, of six of their units 
uh, in each of their three sectors per turn and the partisans could move four of their units in each of their three sectors per turn so the table was split up into thirds um, each player uh, was playing opposite their opponent and the Germans had six units they could move and the partisans had four units they could move and we found that made attacking possible because in really big games with bolt action it's sometimes it's difficult to attack if you've got an overwhelming force against a smaller force such as D-Day you need the attacker to have more moves to get that feeling of being overwhelmed anyway guys that's the end of the battle I hope you enjoyed it if you did please you know hit that subscribe button like and most importantly comment you know because we want to interact with people and see what you feel about different parts of the game so make a comment I'll see you next time